Yeah, the earliest recorded lowland snow of the season actually happened tomorrow, not too long ago. Let's take a look at the numbers right here. The earliest recorded snow we've seen in Seattle being recorded out at SeaTac October the 27th. That's tomorrow. That happened back in 1971 when we had two inches of snow on the ground. Bellingham, the earliest you've ever recorded snow, October the 28th. And Olympia, November the 3rd is the earliest you've recorded snow in the lowlands. Now, you might have heard a lot of talk about El Nino and its development in the next couple of months. In fact, there is a 70 to 75 percent chance that El Nino does develop. And El Nino tends to favor warmer than normal conditions in western Washington. However, the correlation between precipitation above normal and below normal that's a, a little less tight now we wanted to look at the numbers when we see strong or very strong El Nino events here's a list of the last five how much snow has SeaTac measured and noticed not much a trace at best now what about moderate El Nino events and the last five of those it's been kind of mixed but for the most part lesser snow than average averages about six seven inches of snowfall but notice the one outlier 1968 to 1969 when we had the most snow ever recorded out at SeaTac 67.5 inches so that's the one outlier but overall El Nino events tend to favor less snowfall less lowland snowfall in the winters so hey we'll see what happens the next couple of months